comparison between soft magnetic materials and hard magnetic materials comparison between soft magnetic materials and hard magnetic materials left hand side we can write soft magnetic material right hand side we can write hard magnetic material number one for the soft magnetic material the materials which the materials which are easy to magnetize which are easy to magnetize and demagnetize the materials which are easy to magnetize and demagnetize comma are called soft magnetic material the materials which are easy to magnetize and demagnetize are called soft magnetic material and on the right hand side we can write what the materials the materials which are difficult or which cannot be magnetized easily which cannot be magnetized easily and are difficult to demagnetize. The materials which cannot be magnetized easily and are difficult to demagnetize, comma, are called hard magnetic materials. Are called hard magnetic materials. Now we can draw a hysteresis loop for soft magnetic material. We can draw the hysteresis loop for soft magnetic material. Magnetic intensity is plotted along horizontal axis and magnetic flux density is plotted along uh, vertical axis. Vertical axis and this is the hysteresis loop. Uh, hysteresis means lagging of magnetic flux density with respect to magnetic field strength H. So in this case, if uh, we change magnetic field strength H, magnetic flux density of sub-magnetic material will follow this type of hysteresis loop. This type of hysteresis loop and in this case magnetic flux B lags behind magnetic field strength H or magnetic intensity H. This is the hysteresis loop. Right hand side we can again draw the hysteresis loop for hard magnetic materials. In this case, we get uh, uh, we, we get a hysteresis loop having greater area, and it will have greater retentivity and coercive force. Or coercivity it will be uh, uh, greater for hard magnetic materials. In this case, magnetic flux density will change following this hysteresis loop, and uh, the maximum value uh, the maximum value at which the magnetic flux density that is B of the hard magnetic material increases to the saturation value that maximum value is called saturation point of the magnetic flux density and this uh, value of uh, this value of B this value of B is called retentivity or remanence this value of magnetic flux density of hard magnetic material is called remanence at which uh, the magnetic field strength H is reduced to zero, but magnetic flux density does not uh, decreases to zero. And also you can denote coercive force for the hard magnetic materials. In this case, this is the coercive force. This is the coercive force. That means the value of magnetic field strength acted on this hard magnetic materials in the opposite direction to reduce the magnetic flux density to zero. This value of magnetic field strength H is known as the coercive force at which magnetic flux density during demagnetization, during magnetization um, is called coercive force. And this is the saturation point of soft magnetic material and that is the saturation point of hard magnetic material. In this case, saturation point for hard magnetic material is greater. Reminence or retentivity of soft magnetic material is less than the retentivity of the hard magnetic material. Hard magnetic material. And also coercive force or coercivity of soft magnetic material is less than the coercivity of the hard magnetic material. This is the coercive force 
for soft magnetic material and the right hand side coercive force for hard magnetic material is greater than the coercive force of soft magnetic material. Number three, they have low, they have low magnetic, they have low magnetic permeability and that is the value of mu is low for soft magnetic material and for hard magnetic material they have the high magnetic permeability mu. Retentivity and coercivity of soft magnetic material are small and but retentivity and coercivity of hard magnetic materials are high. The, uh, there will be there will be low hysteresis loss. There will be low hysteresis loss for a soft magnetic materials. There will be low hysteresis loss for soft magnetic materials but uh, there will be high hysteresis loss when a hard magnetic materials are subjected to a cycle of magnetization and demagnetization. Now we can draw hysteresis loop for soft magnetic material and uh, hard magnetic material. Magnetic field strength H is plotted along horizontal axis and magnetic flux density is plotted along vertical axis. This is the hysteresis loop, uh, uh, which uh, this is the hysteresis loop for soft magnetic material. Hysteresis loop for soft magnetic material. Soft magnetic material. And also you can draw another hysteresis loop which is applicable for hard magnetic material. This is the hysteresis loop for hard magnetic material. This is the hysteresis loop for hard magnetic material. For hard magnetic material. Hence, uh, this loop has greater, this loop has greater area, hence high hysteresis loss, high hysteresis loss occurs for hard magnetic material. High hysteresis loss occurs for hard magnetic materials because the hysteresis loop of hard magnetic material has greater area. Number six, low magnetic energy is stored in soft magnetic material, but high magnetic energy is stored in hard magnetic material. High magnetic energy is stored in hard magnetic material. Number seven, comparison between soft magnetic material and hard magnetic material is what? The eddy current loss is low for soft magnetic material and eddy current uh, loss, eddy current loss for hard magnetic material is high. Number 8 comparison. Number 8. Domain walls. Domains, uh, domain walls are easy to move. Domain walls are easy to move uh, but for hard magnetic material domain walls are hard to move. Domain walls are hard to move. We can draw four domains of ferromagnetic materials. Ferromagnetic materials. In this case, uh, different molecular magnets are oriented in four different domains. This is uh, the uh, domain of ferromagnetic materials and these are molecular magnet which are oriented in different domain different domain and uh, we, we have denoted domain walls and uh, these are molecular magnets. Number nine comparison example example of soft magnetic material example of soft magnetic materials. Soft iron is an example of soft magnetic material. Nickel Soft iron, nickel, 
examples are softiron nickel ferrites formed by the reaction of formed by the reaction of iron oxide fe2o3 comma rust ferrites are formed by the reaction of iron oxide under bracket fe2o3 rust with any numbers of magnesium aluminium copper etc these are the example of soft magnetic materials these are the examples of soft magnetic materials of iron nickel ferrites silicon steel silicon steel is also an example of soft magnetic material soft iron nickel ferrites and silicon steel are the examples of soft magnetic materials right hand side example of hard magnetic materials are tungsten tungsten steel cobalt steel alini alnico etc Now we can write down the uses of soft magnetic materials and hard magnetic materials. Number uh, here soft magnetic materials are used as soft magnetic materials are used as temporary magnet. Temporary magnet in electronic motor, generators, relays, transformers. telephone receivers radar and sonar equipments and uses of hard magnetic materials are here we can write hard magnetic materials are used as hard magnetic materials are used as permanent magnets permanent magnets in loudspeaker loudspeakers and electrical receiving instruments